the pilgrim shield the journey of life you go on the pilgrim Lord, Lord, we pray you see us through. Lord, I want to thank you for this journey that I'm about to enter. Through the air. And through the sea. Let's go on the journey. The Lord said to Joshua. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of his life. The journey of life. My father, I want to say thank you. I thank you, Lord, for this journey I'm about to embark on. I thank you so much, my oh, Lord. Lord. I appreciate you. I know, my father, you will not allow me to enter into any relationship, friendship, and courtship. That will not give glory to your holy name. And so I pray according to your word, which you taught me to pray, which is that your will be done on this journey and your kingdom be established on this journey. Therefore, my father, I call the intercessor, the great one that sits on my right, who is my savior Christ. At this time, to align with my spirit, as the spirit of God, even according to your word in the book of Romans 8, as the spirit begins to intercede for me now, that I align within God's divine plan and purpose on this journey. Father, you know the purpose of this journey. Before time, you know ahead of me, the beginning and the end, that is your name. Alpha and Omega, that is who you are. You are a and amen, my father. You are my shield, you are my Beniza and you are my rock. And so on this journey, I call you my shield. On this pilgrim shield, my father, I call right now in the name of Jesus that angels who excel in strength, that my father, they be marshaled out to protect our person, our personage and our property on this journey in the name of Jesus. Therefore, my father, I pray God that your head be formed around us as we are embarking on this journey. Oh Lord, cover us with your precious blood. Father, in this journey today, I pray, my Father, paralyze and arrest and chain every demon of accident position to attack this journey. Father, cripple and arrest and bind every force assigned to the sea, to the air and road to cause any accident in the period of this journey by the blood of Jesus. To the road is full of dead traps. I shall arrive at my destination safely in Jesus' name. I release the blood of Jesus against powers assigned to cause delay today on this my journey, my Father. I command that troubles mandated by Satan and his cohorts to delay me. Oh, it shall not come to pass. We begin the journey by fire in the name of Jesus. I command every bullet fired into the road. Oh, whether they come from the sea, no matter where they come from, let them backfire. Let them backfire this time in Jesus' name. Lord, I shall not enter the plane or ship or car marked out for accident in Jesus' name. I declare this day that every sentence passed upon any passenger that is on this journey with me, let it be revoked and let it be nullified by the blood of Jesus this morning. I decree that this journey shall be the most peaceful and fruitful one in the name of Jesus. Lord, dispatch your angels, let them take charge of this journey in the name of Jesus. I declare that I shall arrive and return safely to meet all that I have left behind in safety in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, spread their wings of protection around me in this journey that I'm about to embark on in Jesus' name. The pilgrim shield. The Lord said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. No man will be able to stand before you. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Arise to go, for today I declare that man cannot stand before you. For the Lord, your God, will move with you and will never forsake you. Therefore, no power can stop you or limit you. In Jesus' name.
In Psalm 114, verse 3 through 4. As you travel through life, let the sea break apart before you, and every mountain give way in Jesus' name. In Psalm 61, verse 3 through 4. The Lord has been a shelter for you, a strong tower from the enemy, abiding in God's word. The Lord is your tabernacle. Trust in Him, He will shelter you. He will spread his wing before you. He will give you success. As he leads you through the rough road, through the crooked ways, life will be meaningful to you in Jesus' name. In Psalm 33, verse 23, Oh Lord, lead me and guide me to the day in every day of my life for you are my rock and my fortress in Jesus name may the Lord preserve you may the Lord preserve our lives from every accident from every doubt of the enemy for he does not forsake his saint they are preserved forever the counsel of the wicked shall not rest on the servants of the Lord As I love the Lord, may He deliver me from all the hands of the wicked one in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy 33, 27 through 28. The internal God is my refuge. Under His shield, I have my shield. The Lord is everlasting arm. He will trust out my enemies before me. And he will say, You are my son. I love you. Therefore, as the Lord commands, let every enemy of my life from this journey let every enemy that have risen against me be put to shame in Jesus name I will dwell in safety the fountain of life is my Jesus in a land of gain in a land of new wine, my heavens shall also drop dew in Jesus' name. Because I obey the Lord. According to Deuteronomy 28, verse 31 through 61. Oh, yeah. I shall be blessed. In the day I will be blessed. In the night I will be blessed. He will cut off all my enemies and everything that opposes my success in this journey. Blessing will be upon me. 
all the days of my life. My coming in and my going out shall be blessed in Jesus' name. The journey of life. I love you, O oh Lord, my strength. The Lord, you are my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, you are my strength and it's in you I put my trust. Are you not my shield? You are the horn of my salvation. You are my stronghold. As I call upon you, my Lord, you are worthy of my praise. So shall I be saved from my enemies. From your word from the book of Psalm 18 from 9. My Father, are you not the one who bowed the heavens and you came down with darkness under your feet? You are the one who rode upon a cherub and you flew. You are the one who flew upon the wings of the Spirit. Oh my God, let my journey be like the journey on the wings of the wind. Make this journey, let us go on the wings of the Spirit. This is my confidence, my Lord. This is what you promised me. Because you said you'll be merciful to whom you'll be merciful to. Therefore, Lord, with the one that is pure, you said you will show yourself pure. This day, my Father, I humble myself before you. And I look unto you. According to your word from the book of Psalm 1828, for you are the light on my path, the Lord of my God. You, O oh God, you enlighten my darkness. For unto you I run unto. You are the one God who makes me to leap over the world. As for God, your way is perfect, your word is proven. You are the shield. You are my shield. And in you, my Father, I trust. And who is God except Jehovah? Who is the Lord except God? Who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength. You are the one who makes my way perfect. My Father, you have made my feet like the feet of a deer. You have set me on a high place. You teach my hand to make war and my arms to break the bow. You have given me the shield of your salvation and your right hand you have helped me up with and with your gentleness you have made me great. Thank you Lord. My feet will not sleep because you have enlarged the path under my feet. Lord I want to thank you. Are you not the one who have pursued my enemies and have overtaken them? Neither did I turn back again. Oh God I thank you. Thank you, you who have wounded the wicked, that they are not able to rise up against your daughter. Oh Lord, I want to thank you for even my brethren who are with me on this journey. I thank you, Lord, because you have delivered us from the strivings of the wicked. You have made us to become a head. And God, I thank you because today our enemies, they will begin to serve us. I thank you because even foreigners on our way, they will submit to us. I say foreigners will fade away and as they come against us they will be frightened from wherever they are coming out to because the Lord you live blessed be the rock let the God of our salvation be exalted it is God who avenges it is in all you Lord who subdues the people under us you are the one who delivers us from our enemies you also lift us up from those who rise against us you have delivered me and those who are traveling with me from any violence on the way Therefore, Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I sing praises for your great deliverance, for the mercy you have shown for this trip, my Father, as we declare your glory on this trip, Father. I thank you because your glory covers everywhere. Lord, I thank you. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we remember the name of the Lord our God. According to your word from the book of Psalm 20, we neither trust on the horses and the chariots, but remember the name of the Lord our God. For many who have trusted in their chariots and horses, they have fallen. But we have risen and we stand upright. O oh Lord, save your people. On this journey, we commit ourselves into your hands. Thank you, Lord, the joy of our strength. We give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. The Pilgrim Shield. The shield the Lord has given to us. The word of God. 
O you pilgrims of the Lord, arise and get on your shield. The Lord says in the book of Ephesians, Put on the whole armor of God that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. The pilgrim shield. Our shield is the word of God and the promises of Jesus Christ to his believers. Let's go on the journey. And we will conquer. May the Lord our God brought us out of every house of bondage. Preserve me in all the ways I travel. Among the people I met according to the word of Jesus. He will not allow robbers to rob me on the highway. Nor the beast eat my flesh. For he has entered into the covenant with the white beast. Never to destroy me. Never to destroy my life. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 31. And for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord has proven. He is a shield to all who trust in Him. May the Lord shield from every accident, plane crash, arm robbery. Lord, disaster. For my trust is in Him. In Jesus' name. Psalm 84, verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good things will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Declares his shield. Protect me wherever I go. I recover his grace and glory to travel through the life. Nothing can stop me. Anywhere I stop, I will stop with the goodness of God. Anywhere I go, I will go with the goodness of God. His goodness and mercy shall follow me. My Lord, my God, the cry of my heart, Lord, is to be in your hand. Put me, God, in your hand, O oh God. Isaiah 51, 16, the word declares. You have put your word already in my mouth. And the word you have put in my mouth, my Father, you have promised me that as I begin to plant the word in the heavens and lay the foundation on the earth, you said you have covered me with the shadow of your hand. I am standing to declare to Zion, as your word has spoken unto me, you are the people of God. Therefore today, my Father, this is my confidence and I know it. According to your word in Psalm 91, verse 1, because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, then I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. And I know the shadow of your hand is over me because I dwell in your secret place. 
and my father i want your hand to remain on me oh my god let your hand never be moved away from me i know a man of like passion like moses moses cried unto you that i may know you and i want to see you i want to see your glory i want to know the power of your resurrection that is the cry of paul from the book of philippians 3 10 and god what you did in the life of paul what you did in the life of moses i want to experience your glory i want to see you jesus i want to see you my father holy ghost i want your communion i want your presence i want to experience your shield i want your covering cover me in the midst of the wickedness of this world cover me cover me with those who undertake this journey therefore lord you are the one who according to your word in the book of exodus from chapter 33 when your servant moses said i want to see you from verse 21 you said to him i will place you upon the rock and as you stand on the rock so it shall be that my glory shall pass you by and i'll put you in the cliff of the rock and i'll cover you with my hand while i pass by then I will take away my hand and you shall see my back. And even though you said his face he shall not see, but thank God that he saw your glory. Therefore, my father, on this journey, place me on the rock who is immovable, your son. And I know that as I stay on him, my father, you will pass us on this journey with your glory. I thank you because you are faithful God. It's in your mind every time, my father. It's always in your thought. According to your word from Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 27. Oh, eternal God, you are my refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. My God, the everlasting arm is what I desire. Carry us in your everlasting arms. You said you will drive out our enemy before us and you will say to them, destroy. I know now because this is what you have declared. And because this word you have declared, you have also said this words to your servant. I am your maid servant. Therefore, my father, remember me, I'm your servant. Let this word which you have spoken to your servant this day, reveal it in my life that I will begin to walk in it. And I will also experience this goodness as you have now declared it to your servant. Oh yes, my Lord. This is your word of your promise to your servant, Moses, from Exodus 23, verse 25. You said, you shall serve the Lord your God and you will bless his bread and water. And in this my journey as a pilgrim, even on earth, as I declare as your servant, you also promised him you will take away from his midst sickness and no one shall suffer barrenness or miscarriage. He will fulfill the number of his days. This word I received the revelation today to declare, I shall not die. On this journey, my days I shall fulfill. Your word as you declared from verse 26. You will send my fear before my enemies and you will cause confusion among the people who come against me. Yes, my God, you said you will drive them back. I am your servant. You promised to fulfill the words in the mouth of your servant. Therefore, my God, to the wicked messenger, you said that they will fall into trouble. From your word, from the book of Proverbs 13 verse 17. Let every wicked messenger who has been declared on the journey of my life, let them fall into trouble. But as for me, you promise me, but the faithful ambassador shall bring health. On this journey of my life, I receive health in Jesus' name. And you made me comfort by your word from the book of Malachi 3.17. My father, you said, they shall be mine, O Lord of hosts. On the day that I make them jewels, I will spare them as a man spare him 
who serves him. Then you shall again descend between the righteous and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve God. And I know by this word of revelation today, my father, I am spared of every evil. I am spared from every unrighteousness. I am spared from every wickedness. As you say, you will descend, you will make a difference. And I know on this my journey, on this pilgrim journey, you are shield over my life is a shield, my Father, that makes me different from them who do not serve you. Therefore, let your righteousness before me at this hour. Let it begin to reflect your glory. Let your glory cover every area of my life as the glory of your knowledge covers the whole of the entire of those who are traveling. All that is concerning this trip, let your glory cover as the water covers the sea let your glory be seen in every experience that I will encounter today, my Father. The Pilgrim Shield Shield Like a protector The journey belongs to God Believer Put on your shield but the journey is not easy. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 Put on all the shield of faith that you will be able to quench all the fear and doubt of the wicked one in Jesus name. In Psalm 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Psalm 1 to 1, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The pilgrim shield. The word of the Lord is our shield. Genesis 15 1. The same God of Abraham is my God. Therefore, I recount his shield, exceeding great reward all around me. In Jesus name in Psalm 46 verse 1 God is my refuge and my strength a very present help in time of trouble therefore my Lord shall deliver me from all the troubles and all the brake failure, engine failure, battery failure, busting and flat tires in Jesus' name. Plane crash is not for me. Shipwreck is not for me. of any kind it's not for me because the Lord is my shield oh my fellow pilgrims
Let's move on with our shield. Shield from the promises of God. Shield from the word of God. Shield from the spirit of God. So our dear Lord. We thank you for the pilgrim shield. You have given to us. We thank you for the promises you have made for all the pilgrims of this world. We know that this place does not belong to us. We are moving on a journey to our glorious heaven. Let Jehovah rise with all the angels of this journey. Let God put on his strength. To lead all his pilgrims. As we journey on this road. Down to our glorious heaven. Thank you father. My God, Psalm 16, verse 1. Preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. As for the saints who are on earth, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. My God, you are my portion, my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. I stand to declare today from Psalm 16 verse 6. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. And I want to bless you, my God, who have given me a cancer. My heart also instructs me in the night season. And I have said before my Lord every day, Your will, because I know that Your will is perfect for me. Ah, this is what I realize in this recognition. Because you are at my right hand, I shall not be moved. And the revelation of this word causes my heart to rejoice. I glorify my Father and I rejoice. Ah, my flesh also rests in this hope. For you will not leave my soul in shawl. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forever. I see before me the pleasures. I see before me your promises. I see the word you have promised me. You said, I shall not be moved. And for that word you have given to me, I celebrate this word by a confirmation from the book of Psalm 46. You are my refuge. You are my strength. You are my very help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth is removed, even though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters will roar and be troubled. Through the mountains, even if they shake with swelling, oh my God, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of the Lord, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High God. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Therefore, my Father, I shall not be moved. I declare this word with confidence according to your word in the book of Psalm from chapter 46 verse 5. God is in the midst of my dwelling. Therefore, I shall not be moved. On my journey of life, on my pilgrim journey, oh Lord, this is the pilgrim shield. God shall help me. Just as they break of down, 
even though the nations range, even though the kingdoms are moved, God, your voice as you utter it, the earth is melted. You are the Lord of hosts, and you say, The God of Jacob is my refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord, who has made the solution upon the land. Are you not the one who makes the war to cease to the ends of the earth? You break the bows, and you cut the spear into two. You are the one who burns the chariots in fire. Now, be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Again, I declare, and I say it, I shall not be moved. The pilgrim shield. The confidence of the believers. The word of God. And the promises of Jesus Christ. As I conclude, my father. Cut off my pursuers. And hide me in your fortress in Jesus' name. O Lord, arise. Protect and preserve me. And my resources from the destructions of the evil men. Lord, I surrender my life, my family, my ministry, my business with your blood of protection and preservation. Holy Spirit, put on your shield over me and all that concerns me. Internal God is my refuge and my dwelling place. Underneath are the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 I am secure and feel confident because there is hope. Yes, I look around me and take my rest in safety. I lie down and none makes me afraid. Job 11, 18 through 19. The Lord is my refuge, my high tower. He preserves me. He's my God and my hiding place. You are my hiding place from every storm of life. I surrender my life to you. My sons of victory. Psalm 32 verse 7. I trust in you, O God. My confidence is in you. Through this journey of life. The pilgrim shield. The pilgrim shield. The pilgrim shield. Is for everyone. Who stand for Christ today. Who stand for the journey. Of believers. Oh, the pilgrim shield. Go on the shield. You will make it in Jesus' name. Amen.